Hey guys, before I start the video, I'm going to reveal the winners of the t-shirt and the sticker. So let's watch the full video right now. Whoever can guess my weight wins a sticker. <laughs> and whoever guesses the weight of the engine will win a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Yeah, 179. Wait, wait. 181. Wait, the hose. Now how much is it? 181. So I weigh 91 kilograms. And the winner is... So Jack Tup, Diesel O and Team Meat Shit were one kilograms off. So I'm going to give the sticker to Jack Tup because he commented first out of all three of those guys. And the engine weighs 181 kilograms after I put all the stuff on. And the only person actually close to that was Lou Boss Glosneck. Sorry if I said it wrong. He was one kilogram away and I did say whoever was the closest would win. So he is gonna win a t-shirt. I'm gonna ship that out to you as soon as they are made. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm working on the E36 again. I got a bunch of parts in and I'm going to show you all the parts soon. I'm actually going to be fixing up the brakes because none of the lines are hooked in right now. So I'm going to hook up all the lines and then bleed it and make sure that they're working good before we go chucking an engine in it and driving it. Also, I have some really fun looking parts over there. I got some new bucket seats for the E36. I got them so cheap. They were $200 Australian dollars, which is like... $130 US. I've got a few like rips, like there's one rip here, which is kind of annoying. And then the other one has like a little bit of faded, but besides that, they're pretty good. So I'm probably gonna sew that back up. And then this one, uh, I'm not really too sure. I might just have to like paint between it. It should be good enough. If it's not, I'll make it better. And then also I'm gonna have to make up some custom brackets for the seats to fit in the E36. I have no idea what car these seats are off. If anyone knows, just comment down below. Someone's already actually put it in another car because there's some custom brackets down there. So. so yeah, let's get started. I just bought an ABS pump right here i bought the pump and it came with all the lines so i need to wire up this connector to there because the previous owner freaking cut the wires so i picked up this off another car as well so i'm gonna solder the, that to there the pump should be all good hook up all the lines so what i've just realized is that i cannot bleed the brakes today because i don't have a clutch slave line on yet to test it I put oil in this hose and it just literally went came straight out the clutch uh, fork so I won't be able to bleed it today but I can still wire it all up bolt it all in and then once I get the clutch slave line then we can bleed it so yeah let's go ahead and get that ABS freaking pump wired in Alright, this is the first time I've sold it in six months and I suck. So don't laugh at me because I literally suck at this, so let's just see how we go. Like 15 or 20 minutes later, I finally freaking sold it all these wires. Ready? Look how, sh look how bad they are. Oh no! Alright, there it is all wired up. Not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. Straight into the ABS. Now let's put the ABS on. Yes. Instead of welding, I'm gonna drill through and then I'll mount a bracket in. So if anyone is doing this and they don't know which lines go into which part of the ABS, it has letters. So this one means it is the front right, VR. This one means the front left. This one, it says HA. That is for the rear brakes. And then the other two ports are for the feeds. I just did a mount there. Basically, it just sits there. It's meant to have two mounts, but kind of is just chilling there, pretty solid. And then I put a bit of rubber under the back just so it doesn't like move, but it's pretty solid, like it's not moving. So tomorrow, I'm actually picking up a new gearbox for the E36. It's a 250 Getra gearbox. It's not a crazy ZS super strong one, but it's gonna do for now and it should hold boost for a bit. So I'm gonna pick it up and then it actually comes with another gearbox which has a blown fifth gear. So I might use that as a spare. So I'll go and pick those up tomorrow night. Hey guys, we just picked up the new gearbox. Not one, but two gearboxes. One of them is a 250 Getrag out of a E36, and the other one is a Getrag 260 out of an E34, or E30, I think. So the 260 is stronger, but it won't direct fit to my car. So I'm gonna be using the 250 in there and just hope that it holds a bit of boost. Uh, it'll probably freaking blow up, but let's just hope what happened to my other ones on my E46 doesn't happen to this one. 
and I'm not going to forget to fill up the oil in it this time, so it should last. He also gave me the clutch slave cylinder. He didn't have the hard line that I needed, so he gave me these two little bolts, and they're off the stock brake system, and that should fit into mine. I just have to get a custom hose made. And also, some more parts have arrived. I'm going to get back to the warehouse, drop all this stuff off, and open up all the new parts. We're back at the warehouse. Tonight was a great excess. Excess? Success. Because we got the gearbox and it's all ready to go. So this is the 250 Get Drag gearbox out of an E36. I don't know how many Ks or anything's on it, but apparently it's working all sweet. And then he also gave me the six cylinder selector rod, which I'll need. The other really cool thing is I'm gonna get a chassis mounted shifter. So instead of the shifter mounting to like the rubber mount, like underneath, it's gonna actually mount right where the shifter is, which means there shouldn't be any play and it's like a really tall, short shifter. So yeah, this is the 250 gearbox. The other one, the 260, the one that I walked passed with is out of an E30 and it's really heavy. It's way heavier than this, but it has a blown fifth gear. Maybe I'll use that on a drift car or something. If I get another E36 and drift it, I'll chuck that one in. The ratios in it are way higher. So fourth gear in that gearbox, the E30 gearbox is the same as fifth gear in the E36 gearbox. This is not what it looks like. It is not a clutch. It is a slave cylinder that was leaking oil and I had to put it in there. We've also got a sump gasket. So you guys know that I had an E36 sump ready to go, but I didn't freaking it didn't come with the oil pickup or the... Um, so I had to order another E36 sump, which came with all that because I couldn't find the oil pickup on its own. But yeah, I got the um, sump gasket there and we've got two more packages and I have no idea what they are. So let's open them now. And there's a freaking truck doing some weird shit in the background. Get off my lawn. Right, we got this package here. I don't know what it is. Oh yes, it's my um. This is what you want guys. You know the one, electric one, electric ratchet. I got one of those. It's gonna be so much easier to freaking undo shit now. Have I shown you guys my new toolbox kit yet? I got this from Super Cheap Auto. It was on sale. Look at everything it comes with. Oh my God. Got everything with it. I'm stoked. So that's the new tools. And then we have one more package left. I think I know what it is because I could feel it. All right, I'm gonna open it. Oh. So we have some E85 fuel line hoses. So I'm gonna run these from the fuel tank all the way to the engine. Can hold E85 and not deteriorate. So this is perfect for our build. And yeah, that's all the parts. I'm still waiting for heaps more parts. Oh, also I got an, another radiator for the car off the guy I bought the gearbox off, but I forgot it, I left it there. So I gotta pick that up another time. And also he's got some E36 engine arms for me because the E34 engine arms don't fit, so gotta get that so we didn't all we really did this episode is we put the abs pump in but we got heaps more parts and i'm stoked so as soon as like i get all those parts in i'm gonna be making another video so i just got home and i didn't realize i would have more parts at the reception so i picked them up and it's the freaking sump the reason i ordered a new sump is because the other one didn't have the oil pickup or the so i'm hoping this one has it so let's open it oh, i can see it yes and it came with a dipstick. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the oil pickup? Oh, no. I thought the oil pickup was in there. It's just the dipstick. All right, so we still need to get an oil pickup. Dude, he knows. He's obsessed with the camera. He literally is staring in the lens. Yeah, he's posing. Still need to get an oil pickup because this one doesn't have it. But at least it has the freaking dipstick. Fuck, that's so annoying. I just bought another one for just the dipstick. I'm selling an E36 sump. Message me if you're local. Pick up right now. <laughs> uh, Get it out of this house. I don't know why I think that an oil pickup will come with a sump. It's not even part of the sump. Thanks for watching.